Yo, what's going on, boys? I am playing RTO because just like the Kamazots game, Yarkor whipped out RTO and absolutely demolished. In fact, it wasn't even close most of the time. I'm pretty sure, and I could be wrong, and make sure you let me know what you think, but I'm pretty sure that Yarkor got crowned MVP just for his RTO gameplay. Not even any of the others, but just his RTO gameplay. Very, very strong. And we're gonna do our best to emulate, if you will. My goodness, he already almost died. <clears throat> My guy has so much healing because he got all of the potions he could ever want. And he picked soul. Oh, unlucky. Oh, ultra unlucky. All right. Let's see. I do actually think that I can stop him here. He does have his ult, though. Okay, he's going to go ahead and use his meditation. I'm pretty sure I can't stop him anymore. I didn't know he had med. Not going to stop me from trying. Hmm. Oh, what an incredible first blood, boys. What an incredible first blood. Held my ability just long enough to guarantee that I land the root and that I guarantee another Warrior's Axe proc. That's going to give me enough mana use a second ability to get the kill perfect pretty amazing stuff now i am going wardstone which isn't you know the most incredible thing in the game it will be in season nine but for now we wait in mediocrity Let's see he didn't finish his item. Now, I might still be dead, apparently. My dude literally doesn't miss. Hmm. How much is this? 900? Perfect. We'll back and get it. All right. Very good. Now, I think just to have a chance here, I'm going to have to not use his build, probably. Very good clear. I'm going to need some cooldown online. going to need some anti-heal online. Fighting a soul as Artio is not something many people do. Nor is it something that many people are successful with. I'm trying my best to heal. Try my best to stay in it. Time to rid you of that magic. Can't touch me. Hmm. I do not have much mana, which means when I do use an ability, it better damn well hit. And it does. Um, 
But again, he has meditation and I do not. Okay, he did miss. Oh, I died to the mannequin set. The mannequins ticked 50 times on me. 50. You heard that right. 50 times. Holy criminy. That's incredible. My very high cooldown makes it impossible to do much of anything right now. <clears throat> My damage needs to get up there if I want to have a chance here. Now, thankfully, thankfully, he didn't actually get my blue buff, so I can pick that up, get a little bit of mana sustain, something that I desperately need. That being said, he finished his ring of Hecate and got a tier two of another ring. Not the best sounding thing in my mind. Gonna auto these down. I guess he's doing his blue. Kind of figured he would have done that already. Every Need another 600 gold before I can get divine, but not going to stop me from getting tier two right now. Almost got me there. Pretty close. But we lived, boys. <clears throat> but we lived. Gotta get back out there quickly, though, so I don't lose that tower. I don't want to use my three because I want it up in case I have to fight. Alright. Vine is 900 gold, so I can actually back now. Never gonna be able to get a red buff from him. He's got mannequins and he just straight up does more damage to me right now, so he's gonna be able to secure the reds with ease. I'm gonna dash now, because if I don't, I'll lose my tower. I'm basically just gonna have to use my face here. Alright. It was very good damage. Pretty much just because the tower helped me out a little bit. Red buff's actually spawning soon. Ooh, that was really good damage. That was really, really good damage. Alright, we got the vine on him. Holy crap. I get my divine ruin and all of a sudden I am pumping zombies. My goodness. I knew it would help my damage, but I didn't think it'd help it that much. Holy crap. All right, what is my next item here? I want to say something that will help me do damage, but I think what it should be is just something to help me live. I'm going to go Thorns, because I think I need one. And then I think I'm going to go Pestilence here. Some more anti-heal online. And obviously, I want to make sure that he doesn't take my tower. Okay, absolutely crapped on. I don't know why he felt the need to try to immediately take my tower. It's probably because I killed him and he got upset that I that I was able to kill him. And just decided, you know what? Screw you, I'm taking tower. 
Which, you know, there. Definitely fair. Man, my damage is quite good right now. Really is very good. Now, he might take my tower because I backed. He might just walk in and pop it a couple times because he's soul and he can do that. In fact, that is exactly what he's doing. However, that should pretty much guarantee that I can kill him. All right, perfect. And with a guaranteed kill on him, that might give me his tower. I'm not going to say it guarantees me his tower, because to be completely honest, I might not get his tower, but it gives me a lot. It gives me a lot of leverage. And, okay, maybe instead of getting the tower, it's more important that I get his buffs, collect that XP, and dip out. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. Not going to get his tower. I'm just going to collect my, collect his buffs and get out. And, uh... You know? Maybe I'll get some damage online here. Maybe I'll get a little bit of damage online. Or maybe I should go for some more pen items. Some more base pen items. My assumption in he's do is he's doing bull demon. Which I don't care too much about. And my assumption was right. Because even if he goes to my tower, he doesn't win any fights. So there's no way you're going to get much out of it. Okay. We got both of his relics. Oh my god. Tell me I live. Let's go. Let's go. Dashed in. Got the kill. Actually got the kill. Now I knew. I knew that we would be okay from the bull demon. What I was unsure of was if I would be able to get any pressure out of him doing Bull Demon. Because I kind of thought, you know, Bull Demon is a bit of a risky play for him. It, it doesn't do much, and it might set him back. Because if you go for something like that, oftentimes, if you're not really in a position to do it and you go for it anyways, it'll just set you back. And in fact, exactly what it did. I'm going to go Chrono Spend in here. I'm going to go with Chrono Spending because that cooldown is starting to be annoying to me that I don't have it all the time. <clears throat> Doing these thingies. Might pop up over here. Oh, in fact, he's just backing. Okay. All right, all right. A pretty casual... Uh... Pretty casual clear. Now, something that I haven't been doing that I should probably have been doing. Oh my god, my damage is so crazy. Something I haven't been doing that I should have been doing is using my two. Because I was kind of under the impression that it was just a cripple field. And while, yes, that's good, uh, I don't need to cripple a soul, right? I was actually wrong because, believe it or not, it's a damage debuff as well. So he just does less damage in that field. <clears throat> I actually didn't know that. Mm. 
All right. <clears throat> we actually got his shell there. He was so scared he shelled. When all I did was look at him funny. Which is pretty nice. He now does 15% less damage. When he's in that little radius. I mean, that's pretty damn good, man. Auto these down. I want to get to level 20 so I can get my warrior's axe upgrade. That's going to be very nice. He went stone of foul. That's fine. I'll probably... I mean, he's double defense. I'll probably just go like a rod last item, to be honest. Dude, so much damage. There it is. There's his meditation. There's his meditation. I'm looking really good right now. This game is looking really good for me right now. Mm. I'm going to just back here, grab tier two rod. Looks like he's going toxic blade. Not a bad pickup. It's actually quite a good pickup. I've been healing a lot. I don't want to pick up the blue mainly because I want red, but also cool or not cool down. I'm sorry, but mana has been a bit of an issue for me. <clears throat> oh, I'm surprised he would give this to me. Maybe it's just because he doesn't want to deal with it. successfully gotten my upgraded starter item. I do want to see if he goes for bull demon again. He is. That's a bit of a bad play, I think. Alright, all I had to do was fake pull bull demon to make sure that he still wants to fight me. And there it is. There it is, boys. Man. Genuinely, all you have to do is RDO is build like kind of anything you want and then get to level 20. And you're just all of a sudden like the strongest character in the game. Kind of ridiculous. Go ahead and get this Phoenix. Should be free. And I would like to do the red buff too. Let's see if maybe I can corner him here. No, he's, he's not going to want to fight me. Let's go. 
manipulating the fight to the point where I actually win while holding 2k gold. Do I win the game off that? I doubt it, honestly, because my Titan damage is pretty pathetic. But we'll see. There might be a chance. And there it is. We actually catch the dub. Now, I know that this wasn't actually Yarkor's build, right? His build on RDO is much more uh, tank focused, dependent on you know, who he's fighting and what, what characters he's going up against at the time. And in Conquest, obviously, he's going to want both sets of protection. However, at 3200 MMR, playing RDO against one of the best picks in Duel, period. Coming out on top. I mean, hey, that feels good. And the inspiration was still there. The inspiration was still your core. So, um, hope you guys enjoyed the video. And if you did, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, guys, peace.